Hello my loves, it's Tiffany again from Oh My Tumblers. Today I will be teaching you guys do, 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 how to do UV resin gel pens with a drip. I am so excited to show you guys how I do it and let's get started. So I do use the Papermate Ink Joy gel pens. Here I am taking it apart, putting it in a place where I don't lose it so that later I can put my pen together. So I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know what this piece of equipment I am using is called. I did get it at Home Depot and it really just gives it a clean cut so that I can go in with my Dremel tool and I can lightly sand it down so that when I apply the UV resin and the glitter, it will all lay flat. So here I am going to speed it up just a little bit for you guys. So because it does leave a little bit of a residue, I am taking 99% rubbing alcohol and I will lightly rub my pen down so that there is a clean slate with no oils and no residue left over. So I do buy these dowels super long at Home Depot and I cut them down. I do have a cutter that will um, slice right through it, so I'm able to cut them down to the sizes that I need. So I am totally obsessed with the UV resin from CC DIY. I will be linking it below so that you guys can see where you can purchase it. So I do apply a very thin layer on the pen and once that is all smoothed out, I will then apply my glitter. I decided to go ahead and use my glitter that I do carry on my website it is called strawberry cough i love this pink iridescent color and it covers so well so these little clips i did purchase at home depot so that i can be able to do hands-free with the pen being inside of the uv lamp so here i'm going to speed it up and I do suggest that you leave it under the lamp for at least two minutes. As I was working on the other pen, I decided to prep another pen so that I could later on, once it was dry, I could slap some UV resin on it and be able to glitter it later. So once it is dry and I do pull it out of the lamp, I will actually apply another thin layer and then I will place it back under the lamp for at least another two minutes. So 
So sometimes it can happen where there is a little bit of a raise. I do like to go in with my Dremel tool and flatten it out again after about three layers of the UV resin, just so that the next layer goes on very smooth before I add my decals. Once again, we are going to go back in and we will wipe it down with 99% rubbing alcohol. Or was it 90%? I don't freaking remember. I got the memory of a goldfish, y'all. So once that's sanded down, I will apply another layer of UV resin and pop it in underneath the light. So here I am using the Nice and Thick from CCDIY. I will be mixing a little bit, just enough to thicken the UV resin so that my drip stays The great thing beautiful. about the Nice and Thick from CCDIY is that you don't need a lot and a little bit goes a long, long way. So here I'm going to mix it and make sure that there are no leftover, how do I want to say it? powder there we go i was good once that is perfectly mixed i will go in with about one to two drops of the white acrylic paint and so that the drip is not clear and bam it's gonna be thick enough for your drips So here I'm just repeating this step for the mixture so that I can make the drip for the other pen that I am working on. So as you can tell, my genius self decided to use her noodle and try to tap it a little bit, but because it was thick, it did not want to move. And there is a reason why it is called nice and thick, I promise you.
So once you have left it in the UV light, it should look like this about three to four minutes after you have let it cure. So now I'm gonna go in once again with another layer of UV resin just to seal that in before I go ahead and add my decals. So once I was done with that, I decided I was gonna add some sprinkles. So I applied a little bit, a thin layer of UV resin just where I did the drip and I was able to add my sprinkles and then I popped it into the light. So I did print out the cutest little donuts. Oh my goodness. So um, I did use a clear transparent glossy sticker paper. So here, once I applied it, I did add another donut on top just to make it not so transparent so you were able to see them later. So once I placed my decals, I did go in and do another layer of the UV resin and popped it right back underneath the light for at least two to three minutes. So I did decide to do a poison apple on this pen because it went great with the colors. I also did a power wash on this pen and I will do another tutorial later on that so you can see that as well. So once I placed my decal basically where I wanted it, I went back in with another layer of UV resin.
Here I did take my X-Acto knife from Cricut and kind of just cleaned out a little bit of the inside so that when I place the pen back together later, there was no bumps or issues that I would run into. I do suggest that you don't go too much with pressure because you actually can ruin the grip of the inside. And once they're fully cured, I went in and placed my pens back together like I bought them. And here you have it, folks the cutest drip UV resin pens of life. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below. Let me know what you think. Have a great one. Bye.